Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome in to the Collector Art House premiere event showcase box opening reveal of Arthurian Legends. This has been a long time coming. I'm super excited. There's several things I need to cover. All right, so first off, this is not a live event. It's a premiere. And what a premiere means is that it is not live. It is recorded, but it is airing with me in the chat. So I will be live in the chat. I am live in the chat if you're watching this at the time of release and we can engage so please comment please enjoy the experience it's supposed to be an interactive experience um for the prior releases alpha and beta the kickstarter and the beta i had a big big event with cameos from a lot of the celebrities of sorcery as i like to call them the artist of sorcery contested realm this time I did not do that. Maybe we'll do something or we definitely have guests on all the time. I love having the artists on. This time I did not coordinate a big artist appearance event because the company is currently in Germany for the Spiel Lesson debut. Severin Pinot and Vincent Pompetti are at that event. So it wouldn't be, didn't feel right doing it without them. I know some of the other artists are at other showcase um, reveal events. So we couldn't get the whole gang together this time. Um, it's kind of sad, but we're going to see them in a few weeks at the IX Art Show in Reading, Pennsylvania at the end of October. And then November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd is Sorcery Con Las Vegas. The second ever Sorcery Con. Last year, it was in Seattle. This year, it is in Las Vegas. Long weekend. Many artists are coming. 12 artists. We're going to have Eric, Simon, and Chase from the company. It's going to be really big. They're going to do a Q&A. We're going to have Ed Beard Jr. We're going to have a lot of the Alpha artists and then a lot of the Arthurian Legends artists. And we're going to find out which artists are in Arthurian Legends tonight. So one other thing I need to show you here. If I load up, well, let's take a look at the background here. So we have Gadu Duasso. These are all original paintings from Alpha. I'm very fortunate to have a really great fun collection the only two that are not mine are the two new kayo paintings from the play kit so those will be auctioned or sold at some point i work with i've been i have the great fortune to work with a lot of the amazing artists within sorcery selling their original paintings artist proofs working with alterists i just love the art aspect of the game the gameplay is incredible um and you know the cards are amazing i mean the design the creative design um i, I want to remember to congratulate the company on this huge release i know there's some painstaking uh painstaking uh complications and challenges along the way that's typical of an indie tcg any startup company really it never goes smoothly um there's a lot of challenges and it's a small team and i know they're working their ass off to try to make this thing great and the product is unquestionably absolutely incredible so let's take a look i'm going to pull up the overhead cam um we got the power of the key theorem mechanism behind us right here guys we choose our own destiny so tonight we're looking for a curio we're looking for a broad array of cards and artists hopefully some fun foils and i'm sure we'll see some amazing things so let's do a little switcheroo and i need to explain what we're looking at this playmat is a collaboration with the great severin pinu the artist from Alpha that brought us the Elemental Avatars, the Key Theorem Mechanism, the Philosopher's Stone, of course. And in Arthurian Legends, we have the Witch. And then teased very early on, <laughs> cut off by my crossbar of the camera, is the Lady of the Lake. So this is a two-player, very large playmat. So you can put it in either orientation, depending on which one you want to play as, as the, uh, the sorcerer and then your enemy, your opponent, right? Your friendly colleague, so to speak. So it's a two-player playmat. I'm going to offer these. What, what it is, is there are 50 copies. So you see it's signed and numbered here by Severin Pinu. This is number three of 50. So this is my personal copy. Um, she did 50 total. She's going to have 25 copies for the European market. And she's going to have them at Spiel Lesson this weekend. And then she sent me 25 copies of this one. There's going to be a two-player Philosopher's Stone and there's going to be a new artwork from Arthurian Legends. So this is the only one that I have in hand so far. These are two revealed artworks. So this was Kosher. And then the Philosopher's Stone, incredible, big two-player playmat from Alpha. And then there'll be another artwork that maybe we'll discover today. I have not seen it. I've not seen the playmat yet. It's coming on Monday. So it'll be after the release. I'll announce all three next week. It'll be offered first to Collector Art House Patreon supporters. 
Um, we'll talk about the price points there. I'm probably going to do some, maybe some giveaways for the top backers and then subsidize some of the price of the others. So Severin makes the same amount, but I want to give back and discount the price for my Patreon members. So I'll eat the cost difference. Um, but this is a very special, exciting play mat. Um, three of them, the Severin's logo here with her initials. That's a stamp she kind of puts on all of her paintings in the margin. And then, um, you know, she, she custom made this design, had it printed and made in France and signed them and numbered them all. So a lot of fun. And here it is, guys. Look at the amazing Arthurian legends. So funny story here. I have hundreds of boxes coming that I've all sold to, to Patreon supporters. So thank you guys again for your generous support. Um, it's a way I can give back to Patreons, Patreon supporters by giving them a attractive deal, trying to get the product to them as, as quickly as possible, um, which is what we're trying to do. So I have none of those yet. They were all shipping today. Um, they should arrive tomorrow and then they'll be shipping out over the next two days, hundreds of boxes. So a lot of work to do ahead. Um, but thank you guys again for your support. This box here was from another a uh, friend of mine who very generously, I reached out to him and I was like, hey man, I don't know how you got that product. I, I think he picked it up directly at the distributor, cut out the, the shipping time. So what I did was I, I paid him to overnight ship it to me. So I paid more than the price of the box to get it here today so I could do this premiere event the day of the official release. The company said that it can release at 4 a.m. on October 3rd. So here we are with the premiere. And without further ado, this is the beautiful artwork done by Elvira Shakarova with this incredible gilding. She did the face of this box, right? So this is a painting. And those of you at Spiel Lesson, you're gonna see this painting. She actually painted this, the front end of the box, Arthurian Legends, and it has this amazing gilding all around. She's known for incredible gilding work. Um, you know, it's a lot It's a lot of painstaking work on her part, but she, she's absolutely incredible at it. On the top is the beloved Andrea Modesti. You know, one of my personal favorite artists. I love Andrea. Um, he's just a great guy. Uh, you know, we have kinship because he's a fellow Italian um, living in Italy. I, I own several of his paintings. Um, you can't see them. They're kind of all around the back. Some at the frame shop, some in other rooms. Um, just love his work. So we got the beautiful Arthurian Legends. 24 packs in this. There was 39 in Alpha, 36 in Beta. The, the Holy Grail by Tony Sudlow. So this is a painting we saw a couple years ago. I almost purchased this painting. I forever regretted passing on it. But here it is from, from Tony Sudlow himself, the Holy Grail. And this is a zoomed in image. And it's really incredible. I did a behind the art feature on this on CollectorArthouse.com. You guys got to check it out. On the back, let's see what we have here. It says Arthurian Legends is a standalone expansion set that adds more than 220 new cards to your collection. Sorcery Contested Realm is an old school TCG for players with a rich imagination, tactical nerve, and an appreciation for hand-painted art. Created by Eric's Curiosa Limited, SKU. So the SKU is S-C-R-A-L. S-C-R, Arthurian Legends. All right, and on the side, the great Rodney Matthews. I'm so humbled to work with Rodney. Um, I helped sell his uh, artist proofs for him. Him and his uh, amazing wife, you know, they're very sweet, humble, genuine people. Um, I'm really, I, I'm doing some reach out uh, with Rodney. So more to come from him. All right, I'll just leave it at that. Um, I can't wait to um, reconnect with him soon. Um, great guy, you know, it's kind of funny. I think Eric thought he was um, retired from painting, but you know, I started, uh, conversing with Rodney. We started working together and I, you know, I told Eric, I was like, man, he's not retired. We, he, he should still look into it. He's done a lot of Arthurian legends, um, paintings and he's willing to paint more. So hopefully we find a lot of Rodney Matthews in this set. He only had one card in alpha. All right. So we saw the front, the back, the bottom has your dust code. We got Eric's Curiosa on the, on the, um, wrap and this cool gold, Security seal sticker. Very nice. All right, so here we go, guys. Let's get into it. 24 packs. So it'll only take me about two hours to gawk at the art. <laughs> we'll try to make this a reasonable amount of time. If you guys are following this live in the US, you gotta get to work, right? And so do I. It's gonna be a wild day. There's gonna be a lot of spoilers coming out, or reveals, I should say. It's not spoilers, because, um, the company said as of 4 a.m. Eastern time in my time zone here, 
we can um, start showing it, right? So, all right, let me think. So we got, we'll see, we're looking for a box topper. We're looking for curios. We're gonna try to get a sense of, uh, I don't know, we won't get a sense from pull rates in uh, one box. We'll get some idea of the foil counts, the number of uniques and elites we pull, non-foils. Um, but it's not about mincing the data. I wanna really enjoy the artwork of this set and just explore what there is to find. Okay, wow, so right out of the gate, so, oh man, this is um, this is a nice surprise. All right, so there's the display box. This is how you'll see it in shelves because it'll be in shelves this go around. <laughs> a lot of supply coming, I think, in wave two, even though it's fairly limited in wave one. So the pop top supply or um, display, you get the Andrea Modesti, beautiful artwork, man. This is one of my favorite to date from Andrea. He's amazing. And right off the top, I say this is, um, this is a wonderful surprise because this is, it looks like it's an avatar. Yeah, your avatar upholds an oath to prevail. So this is the Templar, wow, by Andrea Modesti. And Andrea Modesti is the first ever artist commissioned for Sorcery Contested Realm. So as you guys know, this is my favorite card in all of Sorcery, the artist. It's from the Alpha box topper. It says a big thank you to the extraordinary artists of Sorcery all artists retain copyright of their work. And now the order of commission of the artists goes from first in the first row and in the second row down to the last to be commissioned. So the last announcement was the Frazetta girls, the Frazetta estate, Frank Frazetta artwork, and the last living artist, Adam Kaspar, just had one card in the set. So first to last, right? So these are the artists from Alpha. We're gonna see if we can figure out which artist worked for beta oh wow so there right away man there is the holy grail from the from the top and then we have new foot soldiers from andrea modesti awesome so the foot soldier tokens let me see there's a tear strip that'll be easier <laughs> so andrea did the foot soldier tokens for alpha and those um if i recall those were in the pledge pack so it is smart having the the tokens right there in the box topper, so people have easy access to that. Um, all right, so here we go. Let's see. All right, let me put the cards down, the box up there. We're gonna get into what the box toppers are. I assume those are standard and not variable, what's in the box topper. Let me make sure we're max zoom. All right, these little guys, we have the little, make sure my shoulder doesn't bump that. I've been working out, guys. Got, got big. Big shoulders here. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I bumped the mic. All right, Foot Soldier. Foot Soldier, we get four of those. All right, all the same artwork. Oh, and then we have from Vincent Pompetti, Stealth. Very cool. So Stealth, interesting. Stealth tokens. Ah, okay, they're double-sided. So we have the Lance on the back, Stealth and Lance from Vincent Pompetti. Vincent was also fairly early, halfway down the list here, on the first row of the list, commission. He had the most cards in the Alpha Set debut. So we have the Foot Soldiers. Okay, cool. So we have two different artworks for Foot Soldiers from Andrea Modesti. And now Andrea tells me, actually a lot of the artists have told me, um, that they are most proud of their Theory of Legends work. And, and Andrea said, I don't want to embarrass him, but he said like, he thinks his work's much better in this new set. He's, he's very proud of the work he's done for this new set, as are many of the artists. Um, they really, you know, put a lot of time and effort and energy into this in the great work that their peers are doing and just like really wanted to put their all into sorcery. Um, the Alpha was incredible too. All right, so the Andrea Modesti Templar, looks like that's one-sided. We have the Druid by Brian Wackwitz. So Brian's one of the new artists in sorcery. Awesome, so we get a new Druid I'm not going to go over the game mechanics. There'll be a lot of other channels um, covering that. So I don't want to spend too much time. I don't want this to be too long. I just want to admire the artwork and, and discovery of the new cards. All right. So we have a Bruin. So this is this is interesting because that we got two avatars. And now this is just a unique non-foil. While near your avatar, Bruin takes damage for them. So now I'm starting to wonder, can there be variability in the box topper? Because there's... It looks like there's avatars. They're not all avatars. Got, we get some unique cards in here, which is actually pretty clever, you know? So they're introducing uniques into the box topper um, because they're gonna be difficult to get, right? The uniques are probably lower pull rate, so this would be a way to maybe disseminate that. Maybe they're always unique. 
A unique and wise little beast. Tawny. Brian Wackwitz. Ooh, a new rubble token. Kyle Calazans. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Look at this artwork. That is stunning. Wow. Kyle, man. Kyle is unreal. I got to show you a couple Kyles real quick. All right. So we're fortunate to have the Spell Slinger. Let me do it like this. The Spell Slinger from Kyle Calazans. This is the original painting. Again, like I'll be selling this one for Kyle. He's one of the artists that I work with. Um, so we got the Spell Slinger from the, from the new play kit. He painted it right on this board. It looks unreal. I thought he like taped a piece of paper to it, but he told me that's part of the technique. And then the Spire. Oh my gosh. Stunning landscape art. Kyle is unreal. So as you guys know, Kyle Calazans, Elvira Shakarova, and Marta Molina were really well-known alter card alterists in Magic the Gathering scene before they got into sorcery. So this is their big breakthrough. They've done stunning work for Alpha, and hopefully they're all back for Arthurian Legends. We've already seen Kyle, so we're looking for Marta and Elvira. So look at that incredible rubble, man. Incredible artwork. All right, so we have the rules card for Lance. Introducing how that new card works. Oh, wow. So now it's a, it looks like we got a foil artist card. All artists retain copyright of their work. Wow, this is interesting, guys. All right, so the first thing I'm noticing is that we have the same, oh, it's got some, some color texture. The artist in the banner. Oh, man, that's beautiful. You see it's foil? Hopefully my lighting's okay, and we can really catch the beautiful lighting on this foil. All right, guys. Oh, and on the back is the Holy Grail. Wow, on the back of the artist card. Man, that looks amazing. Oh, I should have bought that painting. All right, guys. Look at the art. These are the artists. Take in all the names. Andrea Modesti. I'll point out which ones. If I don't say they're new, um, that means they were in alpha. So I'll point out the new artists. Andrea Modesti, Drew Tucker, Melissa Benson, Vasily Ermolayev, Severin Pinu, Jeff Menges, Vincent Pompetti, Lindsey Crummett, Asi Haikala, Alvira Palakowska, Marta Molina, Liz Danforth, Tony Sublo. All in alpha, right? And it's in the same order. Let me double check. So we got Lindsey, Crummett, Asi, all right, Alvira Palakowska. All right, so it's in the same order that they were commissioned. Very fascinating. All right, Elvira Shakarova. Rodney Matthews, Alan Pollock, Truett Paris, Jussie Pilkis, Margaret Oregon Keen, Kyle Calazans, and now we're getting into the new artist, the brand new artist, first time appearing in Arthurian Legends, Heidi Talifer, Sam McKinnon, Brian Wackwitz, Jeffrey Lobrenstein, Seb McKinnon, and Quentin Hoover. All right, so we knew about all of these artists from the spoiler season and the reveals. The only one, one artist we didn't know about, Seb McKinnon. So if you guys remember, go look at my re last recorded video um, preceding this one. It was a spoiler for Arthurian Legends. It was the Sherwood Huntress by Sam McKinnon. And when I interviewed Sam, I had him appear on that spoiler reveal. It was really great. And I have a longer form interview that I'll be working on. I got to do some editing on that. So I apologize to Sam. I haven't gotten that out sooner. I do have a written Q&A on my website. But I'm going to have a video, longer form video, um, recorded interview with Sam McKinnon. And he told us that Eric initially reached out to Seb, his brother Seb. It's a large family, five brothers, I think. And um, it seemed to me from the discussion that maybe Seb was too busy and he couldn't do the project. So he, he told Eric, hey, you should take a look at my brother Sam's work. He does really great stuff. I think he'd be great for Arthurian or for sorcery, right, in general. Maybe I don't know if he knew that Arthurian Legends was coming up or not. But... Eric commissioned Sam, and now we see there's also his brother, Seb. You know, it's really great to see the two brothers get an opportunity in this. All right, so who are we missing from Alpha? Wow, this is a big list, guys. Um, so we have Adam Burke is not on there, Anson Maddox, Brian Smith, Dan Seagrave, Doug Kovacs is not in this set, Francesca Berald is not in this set. Wow, she was huge, and she did the spell, the spell back, uh, the spell book back and the atlas back. Um, so she kind of is in there. I don't know. I, should she be listed because she still has the, the card back? That's, that's an interesting question, but I'm assuming she doesn't have new art. She's not on, she's not on the new art card. 
Um, Gadu Duasu is not Duasso is not on there. Ian Miller, Jeff Easley, Matt Thames, Matthias Frisk, Aranja Arts, Mikhail Nagy Paul. Oh man, Mikhail Nagy Paul, man. <laughs> That's sad. Dan's gonna be upset. Oh man, no frogs in this set. Oh man, and Mikhail doesn't do just frogs. He did the towers. He's so versatile. I'm shocked he's not in Arthurian Legends. And Santiago Caruso. Wow. Wow, that is a lot of artists that are not in Arthurian Legends that were in Alpha and Beta. Um, I think, you know, the company has said that they had a smaller list. You could tell just, just by inspection, you know, there's there's um, many fewer artists here um, and some newer artists to kind of, I guess, I, wanna, I don't want to say replace, just di different. They were commissioned and some of the original Alpha or Beta artists um, did not return. However, I do know they're still actively doing work and commissioning. So I fully expect probably... Most, if not every name that I just rattled off, we expect to see in um, the future sets again. It's just sad we got to wait another year, man. It, presumably another year um, to see these great legendary artists that we love so much. And a few of them are coming to Sorcery Con, so really, really um, excited to see them. So here we go, guys. 24 packs of absolute beautiful glory. Oh, man, we got to take a look at these packs. I, I almost don't like... Um, filming opening of packs i do breaks on the channel of alpha and of uh sample packs i actually so this weekend guys this weekend after this premieres we're going to do a sample pack break and i'm giving away four boxes of ethereum legends to the participants of that break so they'll get a certain number of packs per pack slot in the in the sample pack so please join me this sunday we're going to open four boxes of our ethereum legends and discover a ton of cards all right um, so we'll see what we get in one box. Only 24 packs. Here it is. The beautiful artwork. Again, The Border by Alvera Shakarova. And the zoom in. Now more zoomed in than the full art card. If I show that full art card again on the back of the art, you see that is the Grail from Tony Sudlow. Man, that is that is gorgeous. Amazing pack design. Great attention to detail as always from Eric. Um, contains 15 trading cards, age 16 plus, age 16 plus. That is hilarious. So <laughs> I think, let me, I just happen to have some alpha, alpha pack wrappers laying around. So on alpha, no age restriction. I remember talking to a guy about this. He's like, there's some legalities at play here, you know, since it's, um, I don't know if there's like gambling implications. The fact of like opening uh, packs is kind of like a gamble. Oh, and they don't have the slogan on the pack wrapper anymore under the wrapper. It's much more streamlined and simplified. So very interesting. Just the barcode contains 15 trading cards, age 16 plus. The back of Alpha had this awesome, their slogan, you know, that we saw on the box, printed on the box itself. And it also had the Alpha symbol. All right, so there's a first big difference that we're noticing right on the pack design. So we're 23 minutes in, man. We haven't cracked our first pack yet. So we'll try to get into it here. It's gonna be hard not to spend a lot of time on each of these cards. Oh man, I'm like shaking, I'm so excited. The, again, the first card, the Andrea Modesti. Oh man, how do you pronounce these? Saracen Raiders. <laughs> Beautiful. So it's a battle scene with multiple Raiders. Blue Knight, Margaret Organ Keen. We see the set symbol, it has Lance. Uh, that's classic Margaret style, working her pattern art into the different pieces. The knights with the new power levels. We got a foil creeping out in our very first pack. Oh man, this is this is hot. Funeral pyre. Oh, Lindsay Crummett. Very nice. A nice campfire by the ocean. Beautiful. Wow, that's a different kind of art. They're like kind of silhou silhouetted by the um, the ember glow. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We got a Kyle foil in our first pack. The Varmint Warrens. Brian Wackwitz. Nice nature scene with the bunnies popping out of the holes everywhere. <laughs> All right. Ooh, cast into exile. Yes, Kyle. Kyle was really excited to do something new and different from his... Wow, that's a beautiful artwork. Oh, man, that's great. Yeah, so instead of just doing like a straight up, the Spell Slinger was like his first card that wasn't just a straight landscape art. This one has the uh, the knight, knight on horseback. Oh man, very nice, look at that. And the foil just brings it to life. Man, Eric always does a tremendous job 
with these with these foil masks. Really nicely done. All right, we have the Green Sparrow, Heidi Talifer. Heidi's one of the new artists. Ooh, Bonfire, Liz Danforth. Wow. Liz is really proud of her work from this set, and you can see why. Again, I'm not going to get into the mechanics, guys. We're just going to admire the art. I mean, <laughs> what else can I do? I'll, I'll get back to the card mechanics later for another day. But the Harassing Ruffians, that was one of the spoiled cards. Just a Rock. Let us stray. Truett Parish. Wow, this is different for Truett. Man, that's cool. He's got a few soldiers in there. The woman coming out of the tree. I love like a beautiful artwork that um, can really stand on its own. It's it's not like super high fantasy. This one is kind of fantasy like, but um, these original paintings that you know can just display in any home are really cool. Let us stray. I love that. Swindler troop. <laughs> the word swindler gets me every time. It's freaking hilarious. Asi Haikala. Oh man, that's that's pure Asi. He's got that old school classic. He's done a lot of like fifties and sixties era style. He's a young, fairly youngest looking guy. I'd guess he's probably in his thirties or forties at most. Um at most. And uh, but he's got that old classic style you could kind of see in the um just the figures of the man and the woman there. It's kind of like a throwback. Ooh, Alan Pollock. You know, right away when you see it, the lumbering giant. Man, Alan does incredible. Oh, beautiful. Hamlet. Yeah, we saw this kind of spoiled at Gen Con. Andrea Modesti. I hope I'm not going off camera. Ooh, Power of Flight. So here's our first Severn card, and that one was um, also part of the spoiler season. Sly Fox. Another beautiful artwork by Liz Danfor Danforth. Wow, really nice, Liz. All right, so I got to set my foil aside, right? I don't really want to even waste time sleeving it. I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't want to waste any time here. I'll get some sleeves out so we can be efficient with time. But uh, yeah, so we got our first foil. It's an exceptional. We we have. I don't think they declared what the pull rates were. So we're in pure discovery mode. Cast into exile. What a name. That's very cool. All right, next pack. Oh man. So if you guys you guys will be watching this in chat with me, when are you get what do you think about this release? What are you most excited for? Are you excited about the Curios? Stone Rain. Alright, so I have a, I think I have a spellcraft version of this, or there might have been a sample card. It's gonna be very interesting. I know this painting was done well before Alpha, and now we're finally seeing it come into the game. Um I know I've seen this artwork before. I can't remember if I have the spellcraft. Oh, another foil's coming up. Okay. All right, so we have the Red Cap Powerys by Alan Pollock. All right, so we got what? Exceptional, exceptional, exceptional. Is this an exceptional? Yes. All right, so the Poison Well. We saw that kind of leaked and spoiled. Ooh, Alvera Palakowska. Wow, Feast of Crows. There's this crows theme. You know, we had the, I don't know, we had the Blood Ravens. Ravens and crows are like a similar type of animal it's a unique unique magic of lost legacy wow that is wild i love the background on that oh here we go drew tucker kettle top leprechaun man drew is is one of a kind man his style is so so awesome wow this is an interesting foil too there's like a subtle foil detail on the background and then he's like sitting on a pot of gold here the leprechaun finding the pot of gold that's awesome all right, we got a tax collector. That sounds like a classic. Genesis on your opponent's turn. Their spells cost one more. Yep. The old ta tax collector, Alan Pollock. Man, I wonder where he uh, got the reference the reference image for that or if that's just straight out of imagination. That looks hilarious. Alan's got some, some good stories with his elf artwork. Wall of Brambles. Wow. Great work, Brian Wackwitz. We're going to see him at Sorcery Con coming up. Here we go, Bog. So Flight's two games, he did a commission from Marta Molina. It looked very similar to this. And um, I'm sure Marta drew inspiration from that piece. It looks just like this. I actually might have, I might have a copy. Let's see if I have a copy laying around really quick. <laughs> I got cards just laying around here, guys. Let me see. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time. Do I have that promo card? Old flights two games. Ah uh, no. I don't know. It's around somewhere. Looks just like that. Band of Thieves. Brian Wackwitz. 
That was also at Gen Con. We got Alvira Palakowska. Castle. Oh, am I losing resolution? Castle Servants. All right. I got to make sure it focuses. Vincent Pompetti with the Blacksmith family. Wow. Very interesting. That looks that almost looks like an Aussie type of painting. The Hyder Sprites, those were that was spoiled, so we've seen that one. Ooh, Pond. Sam McKinnon. Oh, gorgeous. Great work, Sam. Oh man. Wow. Dude, Sam does does incredible work. The Sherwood Huntress was gorgeous. This is incredible. An ordinary sight ripples gently to a calm sip. Oh my god. Wow, dude. Sam McKinnon. I'm so happy for him. This is like I think this is like one of his big breakthrough projects. He has no idea what he's in for. We saw this one spoiled. And then Vasily, our first Vasily, Squeakers. <laughs> Ordinary beast with room to grow. Squeakers. Oh, man. It's been a long time coming, guys. A long time coming. Vasily, wow. Yeah, I can't wait to see more of his stuff. He's very unique. And he's perfect for Ethereum Legends, I think. Oh, here we go. Okay, Kayo. So we got the foil before. Here's the non-foil. Cast in the Exile. Lindsey Crummett, Warhorse. Very nice, Lindsey. Wow, beautiful background. I wonder if she did this on a different material. She did a lot of oil on canvas for um, Alpha. And you can really tell in the scanned image that it was on canvas. This looks like it could have been done on a different medium. I'll have to ask her about that because I'm not, I'm not um, seeing the canvas type of... Uh, texture on that briar patch drew tucker wow understated but gorgeous look i mean not understated it's, it's, it's a lot of he does these like nature scenes like no oh man it's very very uh what's the word artistly i don't know <laughs> it's just like he's, he's he's a skilled trained artist very different kind of style you just know a drew tucker when you see it Ooh, tony sudlow lead armor absorbs the blow the Goswit Helmet. Oh, man. Ooh! What? <laughs> Dude! Severin! A unique relic in Wizardly Ward. I remember this. Oh, man. This was already sold when I sought it out. Oh, my God. This is a huge card. I have a feeling this is going to be a massive card. All right. A unique relic in Wizardly Ward. Amulet of Ninian. Oh, man. I can't even read it. I'm just mesmerized by the gems in this necklace. So this was called... Um, oh, it had a different name. Oh, man. I'm blanking on the name. They made it an amulet. Wow. It was called Necklace. Necklace of Neom or something like that. Bearer can't, bearer can't be targeted or damaged by magic. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That is a, a Severin. Dude, it's straight karma, you know? The artist that I've bonded with so much, you know, I I should I don't want to name names, but there's certain artists I've worked with like since the very beginning. I've really connected with Severin, Elvira, Vincent. Oh man, those were some of the first artists I talked to. Oh man, wow, what a hit! What a hit! That is, oh, look at that, look at that. Oh man. I own a, I'm so blessed to own a few Severn paintings. Um, and I think I'm going to be working with her to offer her Arthurian Legends paintings. But this one was done. And what, this one might be different. This might be a new amulet. I don't know if this is the necklace of Neom. I got to go back and look. This looks a little different. So this might be one that she hasn't sold yet. Oh, man, I'm going to have to reach out to her. Oh, man, beautiful. She does beautiful jewelry. I think her husband's a jeweler. Um, so she's got kind of like a knack for that, you know? She really knows jewelry. I can't believe we hit a unique foil. Severin, that soon. Rodney Matthews. So this one looks like, I don't think this is a new painting. I think this might have been commissioned. That might be in this book I have from Rodney. Looks very familiar. Ooh, Vincent Pompetti, Joust. Wow, that's a great artwork, Vincent. He, he's a master of motion. Um, ca capturing the story of a scene. Keening Banshee, Alan Pollock. Lake Afank. That's Vasily, man. That is 100% Vasily style. Ordinary Beast lurks at Water's Edge. The King of the Beasts. Ooh, look out. Asi Haikala. Oh, man. That is great. You know, we had Vantage Hills from uh, Jeff Menges in the Alpha. Now we have Lookout. 
Genesis, look at each opponent's hand. Wow, each opponent's hand. So we're getting into multi multiplayer dynamics here, guys. Wow, we are setting up for multiplayer. That is big. The Beast of the Bay 2v2 guys are going to be pumped about this. So the old schoolers, they're doing this 2v2 format. They're going to be at Sorcery Con. This is a card you're going to want to draw and play. Look at each opponent's hand. Wow. All right, I said I wouldn't, I wouldn't get into the mechanics too much. Ominous Owl, Heidi Talifer. Oh, this is oh, this is Aussie. I'm surprised. I saw this background. It looks straight. It looked like Andrea Modesti. Right, right off the bat. Rescue. Oh man, this knight's got this baby in his arms. Eva oh man, that is that is gorgeous. Wow, great painting, Aussie. Oh man, that is so nice. Brian Wackwitz again. Shelly coat. Awesome. Thankless Squire. Lobenstein. <laughs> it remind me of uh just a rock right away. Or the um uh the other one that was spoiled. I'm blanking on the name now. But you could tell just right away. Ooh, Hunter's Lodge, Modesty. He's got the skinned up animals. Oh man. The nature scenes by Modesty. An ordinary sight surrounded by snares. Enemies lose stealth. Hey, another lose stealth from Modesty. I love his landscape art, man. I, I love Modesti so much. Andrea Modesti, man. He is the man. Ooh, Castle Haunt. Severin. Ooh, I haven't seen this one. Man, we had a few of her spoilers, and this is a new one. And it's not one of the ones that was done pre-alpha, to my knowledge. I've never seen it before. So an exceptional spirit haunts these halls. Ooh, nice. Wow, Castle Haunt. Sword and Shield. Look at this, man. This is straight out of Guardian CCG. Look at this card. They have these shields and guardians. I don't know if it plays the same. I'd have to go look at the guardians card. Um, but, man, they have these shields. So we got weaponry, armor, shields. Drew Tucker. What's going on here? <laughs> this looks like Drew taking a face plant. Oh, man. I wish Drew could come to Sorcery Con, but he's going to be out of the country at another sorcery event, actually. I think it's Sorcery and Magic. Tooth Fairies. Ah, that's hilarious. Exceptional Furies extract payment. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, Seb. This is Seb McKinnon. I thought it was Sam at first when I saw it. Um, wow, A Midsummer's Night's Dream. What a title. A Midsummer Night's Dream. A unique aura delights in man's misfortune. Oh, my gosh. A unique aura. Wow, Seb. Seb McKinnon, what a legend. The McKinnon brothers are killing it in this set. Wow, that is that is special, man. Oh, I want to see what that looks like in foil. That's so hot. All right. Brian Wackwitz, Vikings. So we got some Viking art in this set. Man, Brian's great. Vincent Pompetti, Arc Lightning. That kind of, man, it reminds you of like the Yasi Lightning card. The chain is a chain link? No, I'm not gonna mess it up. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say. <laughs> Expose my lack of uh, play knowledge here. Oh, this provides threshold. Truett Parish, Fisherman's Family. Oh man, that is a beautiful, nice storytelling piece by Truett. Heidi Talifer. She's got. I mean, the distinct styles of these artists. You just know right away. Thieving Magpie. Ooh, Burning Hands. Wow, Truett, man. Truett is really upping his game here. He did beautiful work in Alpha, but he's got a, such a nice variety here. A lot going on. Burning hands. There's a blaze coming out of the hand. Ordinary magic of bilateral blaze. He's got a very unique splash damage pattern on that one. Treetop hideout. Ooh, another Kayo landscape. Man, him and Vivian, his wife Vivian Calazans. Amazing artist. Another Aussie, shameless squire. <laughs> he's tripping the squire. An ordinary mortal takes any advantage. Takes any advantage. <laughs> That's what my uh, naysayers say. That's what the toxic bastards say about the Collector Art House. Take any advantage. Look at me opening a day before, a day early. I already recorded it. How'd that happen? I paid like uh, five times the shipping rate to get it overnight shipped so I could drop this um, this premiere. Finn wife. <laughs> Margaret Oregon Keene is a wife with a fish face. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the flavor. Ordinary Magic of Arcane Arrows, Magic Missiles. Wow, nice Brian. Brian Wackwitz. There's the Sherwood Huntress, the card that I revealed. Oh, here we go. Forged by Andrea Modesti. Oh man, that's pretty sweet. 
Wow, it's like an armory. Very cool, man. Oh, Andrea. So he's got he's got several sites, it looks like, in this set. Nice. Maybe we're gonna maybe we got a lot of Andrea cards in this set. We've been going 40 minutes. People gotta get to work. It's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna be late. <laughs> maybe we gotta pick up the pace. Alright, you know right away it's Rodney Matthews. Tournament grounds. Ooh, that's sick. So this one I'm pretty certain was in that book. Go go look at my Rodney Matthews. Um I forget it might have been buried in a live somewhere, but I featured like a couple books that Rodney did. Um, and I showed a lot of his artwork and speculated that it's highly probable. I mean, it's Arthurian arts. It seemed very fitting. Ooh, Andrea Modesti, fine courser. An exceptional beast in need of a rider. Oh, man. Majestic beast. Very nice. Beautiful. All right. So we got another foil coming up. Ooh, Alvira Palakowska. That's a cute one. Frisky red squirrel. Oh, man. That is adorable. Look at this. Look at this squirrel chilling on the tree in front of the castle. Wow. All right, Sir Agravain, we saw that at the IX Art Show last year. Oh, we got a foil from Truid. It's the Lead Astray, Led Astray that we saw earlier. Very nice, man. Truid. Oh, that's a, you know that's a Mengas, the Grizzly Bears. Wow, there's a Mengas right behind it. Wow, what a throwback. All right, guys. We got the Brown Bears, a, ter a territorial sloth of ordinary beasts. Oh, man, that looks like an old 90s throwback classic if I've ever seen one. This is why people get the nostalgia. Alan Pollock, Reckless Squire, Charge, Rodney Matthews. Man, that is really nice. I wonder if that's new art or a throwback. I don't. I think I, think I saw that one before from the book. Oh, Lee Lion Hedge. So once again, they don't call it Stonehenge. This happened with Kyle Calazans in Alpha, pre-Alpha. There was a Stonehenge sample card and it was in Tabletop Simulator and, and in digital form. And now we have the name changed again. Leyline Henge. But he, he painted it like Stonehenge. All right. Margaret Oregon Keen, Common Cottagers. Very nice. Andrea, Field Laborers. Sick. Wow. The landscapes, the lighting. Man, he, oh, here we go. Hamlet's Ablaze. So this is an artwork from Jussie Pilkis that we saw as a sample card, extremely rare, and um, an aura of ordinary arson. So it's an ordinary. It was called um, we. Oh, this this was commissioned as Flame Wave, I think, and they went with um, a different artist uh, artwork for that card. And it looks like Eric repurposed this as a different card. Wow! In Arthurian Legends, helpful Hob, Vincent Pompetti. Wow, that's sweet. An ordinary fury does the job for you. That's great, man. Oh, here we go. Drew Tucker, the kettle top. We saw the kettle top before. And Common Village. Oh, very nice. Andrea Modesti. Ooh, the Common Village. That is nice. I own the Humble Village, guys. The Humble Village. Yes. I don't know. That one would look really nice next to this one, wouldn't it? The Humble Village. Wow. There's a few Modesties up in here, in fact. <laughs> remember? The Highland, uh, you remember. It hasn't been that long. The Highland Falconer. Gorgeous. While we're up, might as well showcase a few things. The Spear of Destiny. I love this walnut frame. I still have the plastic on there until I get it up on the wall, but it matches the uh, the shaft of the spear. I know people are laughing because I said shaft. Animals. Animals around here. <laughs> All right, guys. We're getting a bunch of foils. We hit that unique foil amulet. The amulet. You know that's going to be huge. That's going to be huge. Now people are going to blame me and be like, Mike, you freaking stonked it. You hyped it so much. Card's selling for two grand. Oh, you hyped your own card. You said it's two grand. You, you're, you're price fixing the market. Okay, I got to zoom in. <laughs> what do you think? Is that amulet going to be valuable? Did you guys see the mechanic of it? A unique relic? What do you think in chat? Tell me about it. Comment if you're watching this after the video. What do you think of this amulet of Ninian? Ninian. A unique relic and wizardly ward. Bearer can't be targeted or damaged by magic. It only costs one to cast. So you just go look for it with the Highland Princess and you can't touch me, baby. You cannot touch me when I'm wearing that amulet. Whirlwind. 
Wow, Pompetti. Epic. Ooh, here we go. Babbling Brook. Jesse Pilkus. Awesome, dude. Wow. Very nice artwork. Brian Wackwich with the Shatter Strike. Thundering Giant, Drew Tucker. Wow, that's sick. This guy is not messing around. An elite giant of rumbling impact. Heidi Talifer. Wow, very unique artwork style. The Ruffians, Just a Rock, Led Astray. We've seen that. Bonfire. Liz Danforth. We saw that one earlier. That's right. Swindler Trope. All right, we're getting duplicates now. We saw the Scout. We saw the Squeakers. We saw Hamlet. And we saw Duel. All right, guys. We'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. We're getting duplicates now. So we got a, a nice variety in the first bunch of packs. I should probably cut this into two videos, shouldn't I? We got, oh, Wyvern. Wyvern. There she is, baby. The original painting. Man, look at that card. The Wyvern. That looks great. Wow. Very good job, Truett. Man. Ooh, Mar oh, Mar. Is this our first Marta Molina? No, we got the, the other one. The, uh, the site before. The Lugbog Cat. Wow. That is sick and exceptional. Hunting Party. We know that card from the Spellcraft and the sample cards. Margaret Rungan Keen. Sir Bors the Younger. A unique mortal and accomplished hunter. Sly Fox we saw. Tax Collector we saw. Wall of Brambles. There's the other Marta card I was thinking of. Ooh, Castle Servants. Alvira Palakowska. All right, we saw these. Tactical Move. Alvira Palakowska, wow. This is awesome. Man, people are going to love this. It looks like you're wargaming with the miniatures. Oh, man, people are going to go nuts for this card. It's just an ordinary. One at a time, each ally takes up the two steps. Just the flavor of it, man. Just the vibe of it. That is great. Pond, Sam McKinnon, gorgeous. I was blown away by that one. Red Breast Robin. Beautiful work. Heidi Talifer. Wow, Heidi's got a lot of a lot of paintings in this set. Very interesting, colorful, unique style. Speaking of which, we haven't hit many uh, Melissa Bensons, have we? Alvira, pa wow, annual fear. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Wow. Oh my gosh, Alvira, gain well, any one of those thresholds this turn. Oh man, damn, that is a that is a card right there. That is a painting. Wow. Purple Knight, Rodney, epic. Lava Flow, Kayo, wow, dude. Oh, man, that is a nasty artwork. Quinn and Hoover, there it is. The Brother Knight, an elite mortal. Grievous Insult by Jeffrey Lovensee. Man, he had so much flavor. The, the Whaley Squire, we saw that. Thankless Squire. Not, oh, so we got a few Squires from Jeff. Vikings, we saw. Arc Lightning, Lookout, we saw. Fisherman's Family. Common Cottagers, we saw that one earlier. Field Laborers, all right, and Hamlet. Man, can we get this done in under an hour? I don't know, guys. Might go an hour and a half. It's worth it. We'll be faster on Monday. Giant Killer. I don't know how I'm going to get through this stream. Giant Killer, <laughs> Lindsey Cromat. Oh, my gosh. That's wild. Degradation, that's sick. Wow, what an artwork by Vincent Pompetti. Ooh, Troll Bridge. Marta, get in on the troll action. Is this a curio? Is that a curio? Come on. And Eric's Curiosa game. We got to check for curios, guys, on these trolls. I might have missed curios. I haven't been paying close enough attention. The Troll Bridge. It has threshold and three power? Damn. I didn't know we had Atlas sites with power. Maybe it's a curio. <laughs> Ooh, Sylvan Splendor, Severin, an Elite Aura. Oh, beautiful. Wow, what an artwork. Hunter's Lodge, we saw. Helpful Hob, Joust, Keening Banshee, Treetop Hideout. Nice, man. All right, so we saw these. Rescue, yep, remember being impressed by that one. Maybe we'll only do half the box. We just do, let's just do, we'll try to keep it to like an hour. I don't know. We'll see. We'll keep going. Pigs of the Sounder. Truett Parish. Wow, that looks like a Drew Tucker style artwork, man. Wow, the texture, the, the color palette. Wow. Oh, Koi Nixie. So we saw that one spoiled. Pukas. Exceptional fairies of mischief and malady. Drew Tucker. 
Wow, Castles Ablaze, Andrea Modesti. Wow, man. That is pure fantasy right there. That is very cool. And we got a Foil War Horse from Lindsay. Yes. Very nice. Exceptional. Nice foil mask on that one. Well done. All right. Brown Bears, Reckless Squire, Alan Pollock. So a lot of Squires. Saw these, saw these. Burning Hands, Shameless Squire was hilarious. That is the, the Common Village. I think that's my favorite Modesti so far, the Common Village. That's really nice. The Hamlet's beautiful too. Both of those are fantastic. You gotta love a Modesti landscape, like I say. All right, we're still looking for a curio, guys. Ooh, the Black Knight. Tony Sudlow. Look at that one, guys. So we got the epic Black Knight. Siege Giant. Got that baby up there, too. There he is. Really cool, fun card. All right, Andrea Modesti, the Verdant Knight. Wow. Andrea. Imagine a full wall of Andrea Modesti art. I might make it happen. <laughs> Sir K, there we go. A unique mortal from Melissa Benson. Wow, that's nice, Melissa. Very nicely done. Unique mortal that punches down. Whenever Sir K targets a weaker minion, he, he untaps. Dude, that's well done. Wow. Magic missiles we saw. Blacksmith family. Tactical move. Bonfire. Red beast. All right, we've seen all these. The scout. Dual Sly Fox. All right. We're about halfway through the pack. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't take too long. I had a long intro as I was thinking about the box. Ooh, Face City. Vasily. Oh, man. Wow, there's so much going on. In, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Get in the camera. There's so much going on in that artwork. Hopefully, I've been displaying these okay. Man, Vasily is one of a kind. Drew Tucker. Murid Fomorians. Man, that is awesome. I'm going to see him at IX. Hopefully I'll see a lot of these. Look at this from Jussie. An exceptional relic of intricate trickery. The Furbury Knot. Forbury Knot. Shapeshift. Alan Pollock. Great. Hamlet. Yeah, Hamlet's the one, guys. That is a great artwork. That's a beautiful piece. Oh, man. Love that. Very nicely done. That, that's classic Modesti. Oh, man. Wow. Castle Servants. All right. We're getting a lot of doubles now. Let's keep going a little bit. We're not an hour in. We can go for at least an hour. All right. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> Some of these packs are a little tricky to open. <clears throat> Not messing around with that glue. Alvera, that's an adorable one. We saw that before. The Love, love Bone Cat. Ooh, there we go. Love Potion. We saw that one spoiled. Joust. Looks great on a card. Getting a lot of duplicates now. All right. This whole pack is like a duplicate for the most part, except the Love Potion. So we'll pick up the pace. How are you guys enjoying this set? Please let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Please check out the Collector Art House Patreon. Purple Knight. Cold Iron Rod. Lindsey Crummit. Wow. That's different, man. That's cool. I wonder if she... Oh, yeah, this one is on canvas. You could totally tell on this one. Yep. Oil on canvas. Giant Killer. Thundering Giant. It's amazing. The art's on point, guys. Definitely excited. The Common Village. The Common Village and Hamlet, both beautiful artworks. Yes. Castle Servants, that's great. That is real. Man, Alvira Palakowska did some great work. We haven't seen any Elvira Shakarovas. We've only saw the one Seb McKinnon. We've seen a few Martas. This is the Marta Troll Bridge. <laughs> The, the Pixies, Degradation. All right, so we're getting some duplicates. Bunch of duplicates now. All right, so halfway through a pack, and you start getting the dupes. 
All right, so we're picking up pace now. Man, I'm going to open four boxes this weekend and a sample pack. So please come back to the channel and check it out. Ooh, Iron Man Talus, Jussie Pilkis. Wow. Wow. Look at that, man. That's one of my favorites so far from him. That is sick. Dude, the background on that is money and his armor. Wow, Jussie. Amazing, dude. Wow. Face City. The White Knight. All right, so we got the Black Knight and the White Knight from Tony Sudlow. Killing it. Oh, the Perilous Bridge. We saw that spoiled at Gen Con. Wow, what a gorgeous painting by Elvira Palakowska. Wow. All right. A lot of duplicates here. Man, what a set. The art is great. I'm sure the gameplay is going to be awesome. Be really interesting to see people playing this in Vegas at Sorcery Con. The Verdant Knight, Andrea, gorgeous. Drew Tucker. All right. Oh, what do we have here? Beacon. Did we get that before? Alan Pollock. Wow. Very nicely done. All right. The Peasant Rebellion. I'm on Max Zoom, right? Yeah. The Peasant Rebellion from Modesti. We knew about that arc from before. Vikings Lookout we've seen. All right. Burning Hands. The Hunter's Lodge. That's nice. That is a nice piece. That is really striking me. Look at that. That's, you don't see that in a lot of games, man. It's beautiful. The lighting. That's got to look gorgeous in foil. Is that an ordinary? Yeah, it's an ordinary sight. That is really nice. We hit the amulet. Ooh, Snowball. True Tucker. Wow. Exceptional magic picks up speed. Wow, look at that, Drew. So nice, man. Ooh, Bailey, Modesti. Oh, that's awesome. An exceptional monument protects your home. Enemies can't move to here on the ground. Wow. That is great. Ooh, Sam McKinnon. Exceptional magic leaves no trace. Banishment. Wow, great one, Sam. Wow. Ooh, Valor. Jussie Pilks. Damn. That is sick. Wow. Man, I, I'm excited. We're still hitting new stuff. Reckless Squire, Treetop. All right, so now some duplicates. It's interesting. We're getting a lot more sight, ordinary sights, it seems like. So this should make it more draftable, I presume. All right, we're going to get through this box in about an hour, including the intro and really discovering which artists were in and out in that whole bit. Talking about the playmat. All right. Blue cap knockers. Alan Pollock. <laughs> Sir Bane. Jeff Mengus. Nice. Yeah, it looks like a classic Mengus art. All right. Fisherman's Family. Common Village. Sweet. Got a nice variety of artists. What have we not seen a lot of? We got a couple Bensons, couple Aussie, couple Marta. Pebbled Paths, Jeff Mengas. Wow, very nice, Jeff. I wonder if he did this from his property. You know, he's got some beautiful land, just like the Ruffians. He does great landscape work, too. Pigs of Sounder, Truett, really cool. Brother Knight, that's the Quentin Hoover. That's an elite. Bonfire, just a rock. All right, so we're hitting a cold streak on foils. Yeah, beautiful Hamlet. All right. About a handful of packs left. Four more. Four more. This is great, guys. Really happy with what I'm seeing here. Pukas. Some really exciting artwork. Another Black Knight. The Siege Giant again. Ooh, Fields? Of Camlon. Vasily does a battle scene. A battle scene in the style of Vasily Ermolayev. So we've seen several from Vasily. Wow. Very striking card. Awesome. Tactical move. Super. Who did tactical move again? Was that Alvaro Palaskowska? Wow. Yes. Great artwork. 
Very interesting. Some high fantasy stuff, some beautiful landscape work. Sam McKinnon. Seb did some beautiful artwork. Drew Tucker, impenetrable, impenetrable copes. <laughs> that is a corpse. Darium Fomorians. Man, Drew. Incredible. Fire breathing. Brian Wackwitz. Very nice. Oh, there it is. The vengeful ear. Yeah. Ryan's happy. He's been waiting a long time for this one. An elite mortal out for blood. Lindsey Crummett. Very nice. Oil on canvas. You can see the canvas texture on there. Reckless Squire. All right. Yeah, it's cool. You know guys in the community have been around a long time that bought some of these paintings that didn't make it into the set yet and we're seeing for the first time. I have one in the background. It's the, the one that's like facing the back wall. You can't see what the art was. I'm hoping and it's in Arthurian Legends, but I haven't seen it yet. So I don't know if I can reveal it. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait till Sunday. You guys will have to come back. Oh, True Parish. Kingswood Poachers. This is awesome. The guy's like, shh. <laughs> Behind the rock. Dude, that's straight up Truett. That is Truett right there. I swear to God, he painted himself, man. That's got to be one of his buddies or something. Dude, that is Truett. Truett. Is that you, man? Is that you? Are you watching this? Better chime in. He's in Colorado. Kingswood Poachers. Dude, that is a great artwork. The lighting is freaking on point, man. Wow. Truett. I'm super impressed with Truett. He did great He did great work. Oh, look at this. Town. Alvira Palakowska. Wow, there's a lot going on there, guys. Oh, man. The Architectural Master. Wow, Alvira Palakowska has done some beautiful work for this set. Hunter's Lodge we've seen. Rescue. Shelly Coat. Brian Wackwich, we saw that one before. The Squire Treetop. All right, so it makes sense. A lot of the Ordinaries we would have seen. Shameless Squire, Aussie. Ooh, last pack, guys, last pack. All right, come on, hit me with the Curio. Give me an Elvira Shakarova Knight, please. Ooh, Sisters of Avalon. Wow, and there's the well again. You know, Neil's gonna be going for that one. And their eyes are aglow. Even in non-foil, they're kind of lit up. That would go great with the well. Attack by Knight. Ooh, Yellow Knight, Sam McKinnon. Did we see that before? Damn. Very nice, Sam. Maybe we got most of it. Oh, <laughs> I got just a rock and foil, guys. The round table. There it is. Just a rock and foil. Yeah. People are going to want to wreak havoc with that bad boy. People are pissed about the rock. Pissed. The rock would smash this one. Look at that, guys. Look at that. We got the amulet. We got the amulet. Not a lot of people are pulling that one. It's a unique foil. Magic missiles. Sherwood brown bears. The scout. All right, guys. All right, so just duplicates. Let's see how we did. Of course, the highlight, the unique foil. Huge. We got ordinary, exceptional. Ordinary, unique. Oh, that's a unique. I just sleeved it because it was cool. Seb McKinnon. That's the only Seb McKinnon I, I drew, I think. Um, ordinary and exceptional. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six foils. Everybody's been saying six foils um, in the spoilers I've seen so far. Six foils and is that right? Three, four, five, six. One unique, two exceptionals, three ordinaries. And then, of course, the unique amulet. Of Ninian. That is the one, guys. What do you think about this? Is this gonna be a big a big deal card? How's the gameplay on this? How do you like the art? The art's gorgeous. Wow. I love it. Oh man, it's so nice. It looks so good in foil with the gems shining. I'm not I'm not trading it. I'm not selling it. Don't even call me. Don't even do it. <laughs> Please like and subscribe to the channel. Join me. It's probably going to be Sunday, I think. We're going to open four boxes. We're going to open an extremely rare sample pack. We're going to discover the history and the future of, of sorcery. And, um, yeah, check out the Collector Art House Patreon. My Patreon members, you're going to see a uh, an announcement on this amazing play map by Severin Pinu. I already told you a Philosopher's Stone's coming. And there's only 50. So I have 25. Seven will have 25 in Europe. I'm sure she's going to sell them all at Spiel. So they're going to be kind of hard to get, really. 
the 25 we'll see what the demand's like in patreon um you guys will get priority uh i'm going to take care of you know people that have been loyal to me for a long time uh in the patreon and top top backers thank you guys very much um, I hope you guys all love this set and enjoy it. Congratulations to Eric and the team. Um, phenomenal job. Amazing product. Uh, it's really exciting. Um, I can't wait to discover all of the uniques, the elites. I'm sure we didn't pull a lot of those. Um, all the different artists. I think we got a nice variety of the artists. I'm so happy you did. Maybe you listened to me. I don't know. I said that they better have an artist card. So it may, Eric probably thought of it already, but he's, he, I'm very glad you did this. I love that you did it in the order of commissions again, preserving that, that history of the game is great. Um, I think we pulled something from all the different artists tonight. Um, yeah, again, we're missing a lot of our our favorites from alpha, but I'm certain it's just because of, you know, style for the, the theme. Um, you know, some of the darker art, like Brian Smith, uh, Seagrave, you know, it's tough maybe for Arthurian Legends. Francesca Berald, I'm a bit surprised. Um, Gadu, you know, could have, I don't know, it probably could have worked, you know, in an Arthurian way. It would have been a little different um, than his classic style. Alpha was very diverse and broad. I could totally see Kyo coming back in like a darker uh, gothic set ian miller you know no ian miller in his set it's very interesting um it's kind of sad really you know uh no jeff easley um <clears throat> matthias i mean matthias he, he does darker stuff but he, he does great um he's very diverse too no mikhail nagy paul is a big shocker um santiago caruso he does darker art you know i totally expect him in a future set but Man, I'm really, really excited about what I see. I love this card. This is this is precious. It's going to be in every box. The box topper. I want to see if other people are getting uniques in the box topper, if they're all non-foil or what the case may be. Um, man, yeah, it's really great. Please uh, follow the channel. Um, a lot of fun stuff coming up. Um, of course, I'll be selling original paintings for the artists, artist proofs, altars. Join the Sorcery Community Facebook group, the Collector Art House Discord. It's always in the notes, in the link tree link in the bottom of my videos. Uh, the Bearish Brothers are coming out to Sorcery Con in a few weeks. They're gonna have the, at the, the first um, few days of November, first through third, Sorcery Con. They're gonna have Bearish cases for Arthurian Legends. You'll be able to buy them for your booster boxes. They're made perfect to size. They've been manufactured. They're working on the packaging. It's gonna have the Severn art on the packaging, and that's gonna be ready for Sorcery Con. Um, they'll be taking orders there. They'll probably have some air freighted from what I understand. And then they'll be taking other orders um, for their next shipment, probably within like a month or two of Sorcery Con, hopefully. So towards the tail end of the year, we'll start getting bearish cases. Um, I don't know, man. So much to look forward to. It's going to be a big year ahead. The Ed Beard Jr. Dragon Lord mini set. Um, I don't know. I could talk for days about Sorcery. It's been a great ride. I, I love all the artists. Thank you guys so much for your contribution. Um, it's really like an honor to work with some of the artists and even the ones I don't work with just being friends with all the artists is, uh, you got to pinch myself sometimes it's unreal. I got great admiration and respect for your work, um, and who you are as people. I'm going to meet a lot of you for the first time in the coming weeks at the IX art show at, at sorcery con. We're going to have a freaking insane time. Please get your tickets for sorcery con. I beg you. If it's the only thing you do, save some money to get your ticket to go. It's a reasonable entry fee. We're going to have all kinds of play events. We're going to see all the artists. It's going to be massive. This is the early days of Sorcery. This is when memories and nostalgia is made. Only if you get out there and you experience it, just do it. I promise you, you won't regret it. If you're introverted, if you're shy, come find me. I guarantee you will have a good time. If you're feeling alone at the event, come find me. I will hang out with you. I will take you everywhere. I'll introduce you to the artist, to other community members. I'll teach you how to play sorcery, you know, whatever, whatever it takes to make you have a good time. We'll, we'll do some, uh, we'll do some baby tossing in the pool. I don't know. <laughs> you bring in a baby, I'll toss it in the pool. Now I won't, I won't hurt any babies at sorcery. Con. I promise, I promise. Getting a little carried away. I just want to open more. I'm just excited. Excited about the art. Excited about the freaking amulet. Is this, is this? the chase card is it is it leave a comment please no baby tossing be careful out there it's a dangerous world take care everybody love you all have a good one enjoy it arthurian legends is here take care